It's 2024. It's time to stop overpaying in fees and take control of your financial future. Especially now that we're in RSP season and we're already seeing advertisements from the banks saying, hurry, open an RSP before February 29th. So what do people do? Well, I'll tell you what I did back when I first got started with investing and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt. And today I want to share my story of how I started with mutual funds, why I quickly stopped and how you can invest a better way at a fraction of the cost, even if you're an absolute beginner. And I'm proud to announce that this video is sponsored by Questrade. They've been my favorite investing platform for years, but we'll get to that later in the story. Questrade was actually the first sponsorship I ever took on a year back when the FHSA was launched. So I'm very happy to work with them again. Going back many years ago, it was February and I was seeing those ads all over. Open an RSP right away before the deadline. Come to a branch near you. And that's exactly what I did. I walked into my bank, said I wanted to open an RSP, sat down with an advisor, and after 20 minutes and a few signatures, I walked out with RSP mutual funds. And that was the last time I ever spoke to my advisor. They didn't teach me anything. They didn't take the time to understand my goals and my situation or help me navigate which investing option was best for me. In the end, they didn't feel like my advisor. They felt more like a salesman trying to sell me a mutual fund managed by the bank. I didn't know there were other ways to invest beyond mutual funds and they certainly didn't offer that information. Even after, I didn't feel comfortable asking questions. I had no support. In fact, I never had any human contact again after that initial sign up. My understanding was that I put money in the mutual fund and then the experts will manage it and invest it for me and naturally I have to pay for this expertise. Makes sense, but it wasn't even clear how much in fees I would be paying and more importantly, how much those fees would add up. To be fair, I knew the management fees would be about 2%, but I assumed that they would take 2% off the profits I made. That would incentivize them to invest well. The more money I make, the more money they get. Seems fair, but that's not how it works. They take 2% out of my total amount, the money I put in, plus my investment returns, and they do this every year. So I am losing 2% of my money every year, whether my investments go up or down. And I only realized this when I read it on my annual investment report. It was buried in a paragraph on page 14. Granted, this was a decade ago, but back then I asked myself the same question as I do today. What am I really paying for? If the market does well and I grow by 10%, paying them 2% doesn't seem that bad. I net an 8% profit. But if the market goes down by 10%, they still collect their fee. So I'm down even further, a 12% loss. At first thought, this 2% fee didn't seem like much, but I went through the math and did some projections with Excel and the results blew my mind. It was like a light bulb went off in my head and it changed my investment journey forever. When I look at the long run, let's say 30 years down the line to retirement, these mutual funds with their fees won't cost me around 2%. They'll actually cost me 30 or 40% of my investment in the end. I couldn't believe it, but the math was true and it changed everything. To drive this point home, let's take a look at this fee calculator from Questrade. If I put in $50,000 and I invest in a high fee growth mutual fund versus a comparable but low cost Quest Wealth growth portfolio, after 30 years, I'll retire with 77% more money using the low cost option. My Quest Wealth portfolio will be worth half a million dollars. The mutual fund will only be worth around 280K. We're talking about a difference of $217,000 lost just because of fees. My 2% fee that I pay every year grows and compounds. And after 30 years, it's cost me 43% of the money I could have earned. When I first saw this, it was genuinely hard to believe, but that's how these advisors make so much money. And I'm not cherry picking the numbers. I'll include the link below so you can play around with this calculator. But these projections are based on reasonable historical returns. Both of these graphs are assuming an annual rate of return of 8.35%. Nothing crazy. It's actually lower than the US market average from the last five years. So both these graphs have the same performance. The only difference is the fees. In this comparison, the mutual fund has an annual fee of 2.21%, which is average for a series A mutual fund. 
The low cost option is the growth level Quest Wealth portfolio. Very similar investments, but it's a much lower cost. It only charges 0.37% in fees. That's a difference of 1.84% every single year. In the short term, it doesn't have a huge impact. Both graphs start the same, but as the years go on, the gap gets wider and wider. After five years, we already see a 10% difference. 10 years, 21% higher. 20 years, 46% higher. And again, after 30 years, we see a 77% higher portfolio with the low cost option. Hard to believe all this comes from a 1.8% difference in fees, but that's exponential growth. And the impact from those fees also grows exponentially. So don't underestimate this. And please stop paying these high fees for no reason. You don't need to pay for high fee mutual funds or rely on your bank's advisor to build an investment portfolio. Instead, use ETFs. ETFs are a collection of stocks and bonds all bundled up together. That way you get built-in diversification. And the best part, you can invest at a fraction of the cost. That's what Questrade is all about, reducing your fees so you can retire wealthier. With Questrade, you have two options, self-directed investing, where you choose exactly what stocks and ETFs you want to invest in. That's the do-it-yourself route. Option number two is Quest Wealth Portfolios, where you invest in a collection of low-cost ETFs that are managed for you. It's hands-off, similar benefits to a mutual fund, but significantly lower fees, as we saw in our example. I'll include links below to sign up for either option. Use my referral link and you get a nice sign-up bonus. But let's dive into option number two, Quest Wealth Portfolios. This is a fantastic option, especially for beginners who don't yet feel comfortable picking and choosing individual stocks to invest in. Instead, you'll have actual experts managing your portfolio for you, so you're never alone. Here's how it works. You'll answer an online questionnaire of 13 questions to assess your money goals, risk profile, your timeline, basically your investing expectations. And in just a few minutes, you'll be assigned one of five portfolios that fits best with your goals. These range from an aggressive growth focus to more balanced portfolios and then more conservative income-oriented products. You can also choose socially responsible investing options for each of these categories. All of these Quest Wealth portfolios are made of ETFs. That's how you get built-in diversification. The weighting of these ETFs will vary based on your risk level. The higher risk portfolios will contain more equity ETFs, heavy on stocks. The conservative, lower risk portfolios will hold more bond ETFs. I'll show you an example in just a second, but this is important. This ETF approach is why their costs are so low. Quest Wealth portfolios are actively managed. There's always a team of experts making adjustments to maximize your return. However, they avoid unnecessary trade commissions and fees of mutual funds. Those fees would be passed on to you, the investor. Instead, by building a portfolio of ETFs, it's more efficient to manage, and that means big cost savings for us. Let's look at the cost. They only charge a management fee of 0.25%. Even better, if you have a larger portfolio above 100,000, they drop this down to 0.2%. Note, the ETFs within these portfolios also have a management fee. Luckily, Questwell portfolios target low-cost ETFs, with MER averaging about 0.12%. So if you have less than 100 grand, your total fees will be about 0.37%. Their management fee of 0.25% plus 0.12% MER for the ETFs themselves. Like we saw in the calculator example, comparing a low fee of 0.37% to a high fee mutual fund above 2%, that can cost you hundreds of thousands over time. You're getting a very similar investment product. So why pay almost six times higher in fees? Want proof? Let's compare. On the left, we have the Quest Wealth Growth Level Portfolio, and on the right, we have a growth-focused mutual fund. Looking at the breakdown of these portfolios, they are remarkably similar. They have about 33% U.S. equity, 43% non-U.S. equity when combining both Canadian and international, and 20% in bonds. The individual stocks will be different, as well as industry and sector exposure, so it's not a perfect overlap, but these two portfolios are very similar. Here's the kicker. The Quest Wealth portfolio costs 0.37% and the mutual fund costs 2.21%. The mutual fund costs almost six times more for essentially the same product. There's no justifying that. And that's why I switched out of mutual funds all those years ago. With Quest Wealth portfolios, it's a fraction of the cost while still retaining all the benefits. You still have human experts managing it and they will rebalance and adjust for you as the market changes. And if your goals change, you can adjust your profile with the click of a button. 
As you get older or as circumstances change, it is super easy to update your portfolio. If you want to get started with Questful Portfolios, click my referral link below to sign up. Use my link and your first $10,000 will be managed for free for the year. That saves you even more money. Invest it well. The other option is self-directed investing with Quest Trade. Nothing is managed for you. You pick what ETFs and stocks you want to invest in, as well as bonds and GICs. You have absolute control over your portfolio. All the decisions are yours, but that comes with more work. You have to do the research. For me, the vast majority of my money is self-directed investing with Quest Trade because I love having this control. I enjoy researching stocks, tracking the market, and building my portfolio of individual stocks and ETFs. If you're an absolute beginner and you don't feel comfortable managing your own investments, here's a tip. Start with a Quest Wealth portfolio. They'll choose the ETFs that fit best with your goals. After a few months or even years, you've built up your confidence with investing and now you're ready to do it yourself. The choice is yours. You can even do a mix of both. That's what I do. Even though I'm an experienced investor, I still contribute $200 a month into my Questwell portfolio. That money is set aside and I have peace of mind knowing it's in good hands. The rest of my money goes into my self-directed investing where I call the shots and I choose what to buy. And the best part is with Quest Trade, you don't pay any commission fees when you buy ETFs. Other banks and brokers can charge up to $10 in commission fees every time you buy or sell stocks or ETFs. But with Quest Trade, buying any North American ETFs is commission free. So if you do the work yourself and you build your own ETF portfolio, you can cut your fees down to rock bottom. You can't control the market, but you can control the fees you pay. I've already made about a dozen tutorials showing step by step how to get the most out of Quest Trade. So check those out to see exactly how to buy stocks, how to analyze a stock quote, how to open an account, how to transfer your TFSA and RSP from your bank into Quest Trade. There's a lot to cover, so give it a watch. And don't forget, customer support is always just a click away. You're never alone, and soon you'll see the power of Quest Trade and why they've been my favorite investing platform for years. So for 2024, make it your goal to ditch the high fees you're paying with mutual funds. It could be costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And for what? You work hard for your money, so make sure it's working hard for you, not someone else. If you currently have mutual funds, even in a TFSA or RSP, you can transfer that money into Quest Trade, and it won't cost you a thing. Your bank will likely charge you a transfer fee, but Quest Trade will reimburse you up to $150. And don't worry, there aren't any tax implications or penalties. You're not withdrawing from your TFSA, you're transferring that money into another TFSA with Quest Trade. So it won't affect your contribution room at all. The same applies for the RSP and the other tax sheltered accounts. And this whole process can be done online. You don't have to walk into your bank and have an awkward breakup conversation with them. Just open a Quest Trade account, submit the transfer request, and they'll take care of the rest. I go through the entire process step by step in my video here, showing how I transferred out of mutual funds from my bank into Quest Trade. I'll include links below to get started with Quest Trade and get you a nice sign up bonus, whether you go with Quest with Portfolios or the self directed route. Or you can do both, like I do. Either way, I hope that hearing my story was a wake up call. Stop throwing your money away in high fee mutual funds. There's a better way to invest at a fraction of the cost. So thank you to Quest Trade for sponsoring this video and helping us to retire wealthier. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T shirt. Bye guys.